Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, George. So we got the Yes Welder Cut 65 DS Professional Plasma Cutter, and we're gonna do a quick unboxing on the machine, try it out, and see what it's capable of. So I gotta get a tool to open the box. And as you can see, it's uh, the new color, which resembles that 205DS there. And the previous color was that darker blue back there. All right, guys, so we're going to go over some of the accessories here, starting with the torch. This is the S45 torch. Here's the safety uh, shield on here. And the red wire here goes to your pilot arc. This black one to your uh, switch. And the air inlet. Is this one here now this is about 13 feet long we also got the earth ground here which is about 10 feet long 16 millimeters should be roughly about six gauge you know between six gauge and four gauge i want to say all right guys so the regulator is assembled here i took off this top nut here this bracket goes in place we take these screws off and we'll put it in place run the air hose from here to here and I think somewhere around here should be good enough. There you go. We'll find out if it leaks or not. One thing to note is this cable grabber here. As you can see, it's cracked right there. Um, shouldn't affect us in anything But I'm just gonna mention that it's cracked right there All right guys, so we're set at 240 volts right now and the air compressor is hooked up Now this machine has a built-in internal regulator and it's already regulated to a certain pressure from the factory the external one I set it to 70 psi and Hopefully that's good enough so it appears the machine is on, but actually it's off. And we can see the readout, 246 volts, 2T, 4T. I'm gonna use it at 2T. This switch here, you got the, the gas bottle on the top. That's to basically test the gas coming out of here. And the bottom setting there is actually your um, indicator that it's ready to cut steel or whatever material you're gonna cut and we got an E5 there so basically we have a bad segment there on that that section there so that E5 is actually 65 amps 59 and you get it Kind of looks like six feet there, five feet. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got the plasma cutter here at max settings. We got one eighth, three sixteenths, quarter inch, three eighths, half, three quarters, and one inch. I was looking for some five eighths. Didn't find any. I'm going to use this section here to guide my cuts. So let's start off uh, max settings on one eighth. Make sure we're recording there. All right, starting on one eighth. This three sixteen. This is quarter inch. This is about two inches in length. This one had a, a hole there to kind of mess me up.
Now we're on the three quarter. now. And we're missing a bit here. So once again, here's a 3 8 half inch. You know, you can get really good cuts using a guy like I did right there. Here's a one inch severance cut. And to be honest guys, I was not expecting to cut one inch at all. And I'm surprised. Let me give y'all from this side over here. One eighth. Three sixteenths quarter inch three eight this one I wanted to actually cut back here and since I was using the guide well I hit that hole there half inch you can see the cut looks real nice three quarters which is a tad bigger than the rating for clean cuts here's the one inch The one inch severance cut, which came out nicely there. Once again, 220 volts. And that's not E5, but 65 amps. All right, guys, we're going to do the review on the Yes Water Cut 65 DS. And we're going to start off by looking at the cuts here. Here on the top, we got 1 eighth, half inch three quarters and one inch now the machine's rated for five eighths which is slightly bigger than this plate here and smaller than this one so you know the machine has some power to it um, the severance cut came out really nice I did use a the guy that comes on the s45 torch there um, the machine is multi voltage runs on 110 or 120 and 220 volts there we'll go ahead and power it on again this display kind of got me off guard at the beginning. That's a 45, and it looks like a U and a 5 there. Other than that, it uh, doesn't affect the performance, just cosmetics there. The torch here is about 13 feet long. The ground is 10 feet. It means that I don't have to move um, the plasma cutter far away from the, the workpiece that I'm cutting or working on. Now the power button's here on the back doesn't really bother me some people prefer the switch to be on the front not a deal breaker the regulars on the back now the manual doesn't state what pressure to set this at so I put it around 75 or 80 psi and I believe it dropped to about 70 so um, things should be good enough I believe it's working more as a, a filter or a water trap you know to prevent stuff from going to the inside to the internal uh, regulator once again, uh, there is a duty cycle of 60 on the machine. I did all my cuts in under six minutes, so I'm within that um, duty cycle there. Now the torch is uh, feels real nice in my hands. One thing that kind of did bother me was no spare consumables and not a deal breaker because if you're gonna be working on projects, of course you're gonna be buying consumables because you're gonna go through them whether it's uh, nozzles or electrodes. Um, other than that, guys, a pretty good machine. All right, guys, so I really enjoyed working with this machine and all the tests came out exceeding my expectations. So if you want more information or if you want to pick up one of these machines, go to yeswater.com. 
search for the cut 65 ds and um, check out the specifications and the prices now sometimes they have promotions going on or discount codes look for those and save a few more bucks other than that i'll put my discount code below and um, we'll see you in the next video guys any questions let me know below and see ya bye bye